previous lesson, we talked about flowchart. We said a flowchart is a type of diagram that represents a process. Now, a flowchart helps us to know our daily activity, to know the steps to carry out in our daily activities. And we also said we have types of flow charts. We have four types of flow charts. We have the data flow chart, the document flow chart, the system flow chart, and the program flow chart. Our content for today are flow chart showing the activities of kids from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. We also have flowchart showing Spectre's Saturday afternoon activity. And the last content we'll be seeing for today is flowchart showing the daily routine of a business woman. So these flowcharts, we'll be looking at them one after the other. The first one is flowchart showing the activities of kids from 8 p.m to 7 a.m. The first shape here is the stats, which is known as the over shape. 8 p.m., the child was feeling sleepy. Then 8, 10 p.m., the child remembered that she needed to brush her teeth. After brushing her teeth, 8, 25 p.m., she went to use the toilet. After using the toilet, 8.45 p.m., she took off her clothes and took a bath. After taking a bath, 9 p.m., she went to bed to sleep. Then 7 a.m., which is the next morning, she woke up shining. Last shape after waking up is the over shape, which is top. Our next flowchart is flowchart showing pictures Saturday afternoon activity. The first shape is the over shape and it is start. Peter eats his lunch. After eating his lunch, Peter reads his books. After reading his books, he remembered he needs to play with his toys, so he went straight to play with his toys. After playing with his toys, he went to water the flowers. After watering the flowers, he went to feed his dogs. After feeding his dogs, then he stopped. The next one is flowchart showing the daily routine of a business woman. First, we have our first shape, which is the over shape, and it is stats. When she starts, she wakes up early for work. After waking up, she went straight to brush her teeth. After brushing her teeth, she goes to the toilet. After using the toilet, she takes a bath. After taking a bath, she takes a scooter to work. When she got to work, she sits in a office to relax before working for the day after relaxing she meets a client after meeting a client she eats a lunch after eating a lunch she ends the day with a good sleep and the last shape is known as the stop is recap time Yay! In today, we talked about flowcharts showing the activities of kids from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. And we said 8 p.m. means 8 in the evening, while 7 a.m. means 7 in the morning. We went further by discussing about a child who was feeling sleepy around 8 p.m. Then 8, 10 p.m., the child went to brush her teeth. Then after brushing her teeth, 8.25 p.m., she went to use the toilet. After using the toilet, 8.45 p.m., she took off her clothes to take a bath. After taking a bath, 9 p.m., she went straight to bed to sleep. Then 7 a.m., which is the next morning, she woke up. Then we also talk about flowchart showing pictures Saturday's afternoon activity. 
We said Peter eats his lunch. After eating his lunch, Peter reads his books. After reading his books, Peter plays with his toys. After playing with his toys, then he remember the mommy told him to water the flowers. So he went to water the flowers. And after watching the flowers, Peter feed his dogs. Then we also discuss about a business woman. The business woman woke up very early to prepare for work. Then she brush her teeth. After brushing her teeth, she goes to the toilet. Then after using the toilet, she takes a bath. After taking a bath, she quickly went to work. When she got to work, she sits in her office. After sitting in her office for for some time, she meets with her client. After meeting with her client, then she took her lunch. She ate her lunch. After eating her lunch, she ends the day with a good sleep. It's time to say goodbye. I know you'll be able to make your own flowchart. I know you can make your own flowchart by using the oval shape and the rectangle shape. Now we've come to the end of this class. If you have any question, you can put your question at the comment section. Bye.